Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So guys, um, this isn't one of my normal gaming videos. But today I'm going to be doing a review on the Dario A87 Swallow. Now this is a keyboard from the band Dario and it's their A87 series. There are three types. There is one the A87 Swallow, the A87 Dream and the A87 uh, Childhood and the Alpha. All of these keyboards are TKLs, that means there is like the number pad isn't there. But now I'm going to show you uh, the keyboard and its packet. So I already have the keyboard out here. It looks really great. I already uh, switched the arrow keys with the keys given in another packet which is right here. And you can see there is the user manual, the cable. The cable is a type C. Uh, it isn't wireless and there is the keycap puller. Now, there are four versions of this. If I flip this, there's four versions. Uh, it's not here actually. There, four versions. In the there is in the U.S. the black and the blue, and there is the U.K. where it's red and brown. Now I don't think it means just for U.S. there will be black and blue and uh, that only. But I think it's available for all. But this keyboard is from the U.S. still made in China. Yes okay ignore all these now this is the keyboard i got the brown one because yes i got the brown one i wanted brown it's tactile and this is Terry mx switches so yeah now this is a type c wired and another thing i can pull this yes i can pull this off now this is a cover actually there is six magnets one two three four five and six I recommend keeping this on because it's like stops dust going in the corners. But now rather than that, no number pad key here. And the space bar is a different, um, what can I say? This is colored and painted. Oh, yeah, the extra keys. I think you can switch the up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and right arrow, and the escape key. I already switched them, so yeah. But I can show you all. Let me just wait a second. Uh, okay, here. There's the up arrow, which is like a bridge. We have the left arrow and the right arrow, which are like swallows. It's in the name. And the down arrow is like a mountain. There we have the escape key, but I'm just going to keep it like this. I just don't want to change it. Now, there is RGB in the keyboard, and it is PBT keycaps. Now, right now, I'm going to plug the keyboard in, and I'm going to check it out. Another thing I realized, the keyboard looks different in the image and here. As you can see, the enter key is much bigger. Over here is just this. But well, it's better because we have these. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But the symbols are also different. I think if it was the UK, it would look like this. Okay, now I will be plugging in the keyboard and I will show you guys how it sounds and how it performs. Okay, I'm back. My computer is right now starting. Now here's the keyboard with this RGB and I will be showing you all the different effects that it is. So right now as you can see, uh, the RGB is blue, I couldn't find a way to change this color. Well it's pretty cool so I'm not going to turn it off. But other than that, uh, I'll, I'll, make, I'll just show you how it sounds. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Other than that, well, that's the sound. And these are Cherry MX Brown, so they are really light to press. So if I just lightly press it, pretty. You don't have to press it like so hard. But I also have a blue switch. This is way more quieter than the uh, blue switch keyboard. So yeah. I didn't get the red because I thought that the brown switch keyboard is much better than the red. Now, let me show you the different effects. Okay, now there are many different types of effects. So, let me show you guys the first one, which you can already see. It's static. After static, we have breathing. And breathing, if I do this, you can see. 
Give me a second. Okay, yeah, okay. So this one was your normal now breathing. There we go. It's like it's breathing, and you can set the brightness so that it's not normal. And if I put dark, uh, bright, yeah, it's way brighter. But I'd rather keep it on this. You can also change the speed in the software, which is a driver actually. It's not an exact. Okay, then we have wave save. You can select the direction for wave, so you can go up, down, left, right. Okay. Now after this, we got the next one, which is reactive. Say nothing is going on. You can see it reacts. You can see the color. Okay, reactive isn't the best, but after that we have sidewinder. Don't know what that is. Let's just say. Oh, it goes from top to bottom. Okay, it goes from uh, from the top right to left, then until it reaches the right arrow key. Okay. Then we have ripple. Ripple, I know what does this, and it's like a water ripple. If you put water, if you go to a lake and you drop water, what does it do? It reacts to the whole uh, lake. So if I do this, it goes for the whole keyboard. Now, after this ripple, we have instant on. Instant on, I do not know, but. So it's just. Okay, this is no different if I just try again. Okay, so it instantly turns on the full um, keyboard light for that switch. Okay, then we have raindrop. And this one is just like, it's raining. If I remove this. Okay, then after raindrop, we have horse race. I do not know this, let's see. Okay, so... Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks, it's like blinking in the uh, video, but in reality, it's just a straight, um, what can I say? Straight light. It's not blinking. Okay. Now, for the next one, we have, let's see. Mm, scatter. Okay, let me just see this. So it just scatters around. Okay, after that we have single ripple. I think I know what this is doing. Yeah, it goes in one line. Yeah, okay. Then we have character. Okay, character is like this. So if you see, if I put W. You see, it's going on here. I press it multiple times to go to the top and stay there. So if I hit space once, it's in this line only. It's twice. It goes to send it twice. It's four times. Five times. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Whoo! Next one. Scatter, single ripple, character, radar. First time. See, radar. Okay, so it's just, um... It's like a frequency, you can say, it goes everywhere. Okay, then we have DIY. DIY is you, like, give the colors yourself. So if I save this, you can see it is or only over here. But, and you can set it. So, if I hit WASD, you can see WASD will not have its color on. Okay, if I turn off everything except the F keys... But then you guys will on F keys and number keys. Then you guys will understand. Save. And you can see no light here. Okay. So you can just select what kind of uh what kind of like I said. what kind of color light you want, but I'm not gonna put it DIY, I'm just gonna put it as static and save. Okay. So well that's pretty much it. I already did a sound desk and the keyboard is really good. Um, I recommend if you want a Cherry MX uh, brown keyboard, uh, yeah, you can really use this one. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Oh, God. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.